As a video creator and video strategist, my goal is to try to find any software, app, or platform that my audience can use in order to create videos for their business. To that end, I'm always investigating any new or even existing platforms that I'm using to see what's happening with regards to new features that they're rolling out. In the next video, I want to share with you one of the features that I discovered not too long ago using Canva to create videos. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Edie here, your remote video creator and YouTube strategist. And I'm coming in today with a new feature that is in beta currently with Canva and it's presentation and recording mode. So let me actually go back to editing so that you can see how I came to this um, window. So before we get started with the present and record feature, I did want to share with you this little notification down here. I don't know if you noticed it, but this is a music track that I brought in to um, match with this particular sequence that I'm creating. And I just wanted to bring your attention to the fact that you can now add music to your images and to your videos that you're creating in Canva. They have a deal with epidemic sound. And so all you would need to do is come to their library and you can just scroll down. They have it categorized. It's categorized by type of music. So you can just select what type you want, but they just will have a couple samples. And then if you want to, like, for example, if you want to use cinematic type music, you can then click on see all, and then you could see all of the music that that's there and then if you find something that you like all you need to do is simply drag it over onto your screen and it will place your music here now typically the music you can see the links are going to be much longer than probably what you need but it will match to the length of whatever the video is so this is only seven seconds so if you were to play this the music would only play for seven seconds. So if we added more pages on here, which we will do in a minute, it will make the video go longer. And so therefore it will use up more of the music. So now let's get over to present and record feature. So I happen to be in here working on um, a video that I wanted to create for social media. Came up here to download my video. You can see that it says present and record. This has been here for quite a while, but I've been ignoring it, I have to tell you. So when you click on that, it just basically tells you that now you can record yourself while talking over your presentation. And then you can share your video link with your students, your friends, or your colleagues. So ideally, this would probably make more sense for you to do it if you're actually creating a presentation in Canva. And as we all know, in addition to the multitudes of things that you can create in Canva, you can do PowerPoint presentations, really effective, um, nice slides. So assuming that this was a presentation or for whatever purpose, all you would need to do is click on go to the Record Studio it then will make sure that it syncs and grabs the information from your webcam as well as from your microphone and you can see that it's picking up my microphone here I'm doing a little bit of an experiment because i'm actually also screen recording this using camtasia which is also pulling the audio from my microphone so i don't know what this is going to sound like on the end but we'll see so anyway, so if you want to get ready, you can just click on start recording. It counts you down just like every other screen recorder, but it's here showing you that the area that's being recorded is only what is here. So it's your presentation itself. So in this example, this actually would work well if you wanted to do a video like this for social media, because this is actually a video that I've created for Facebook. So it's the Facebook dimensions that obviously you can also use on uh, Instagram as well as on LinkedIn. And so this is all that's being recorded. So it gives you a countdown on how many minutes or seconds you have been recording for. 
Then there's also an area where you can add any notes that you may uh, want to write in reference to the design or the presentation that you're doing. And this again, it looks like it's just basically um, probably going to show you any additional pages that you would have in your presentation so that you can go from one to the next. I don't know if there is an easier way for you to make those transitions um, other than just clicking on the images and I'm assuming there would be a row of them down here but I'll do that in the next test to see what it looks like when you have multiple pages. So when you're finished with your presentation we've been going for a minute 21 now. You can just click over here where it says end recording and so it just tells us that it's uploading our recording. Keep the browser open while uploading because obviously you can cancel and discard. It then gives you a link. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to go back to editing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a window and I'm going to paste that link and this is how it's Three presenting screen recorder but it's here showing you that the area that's being recorded is only what is here so it's your presentation itself so that's pretty good so it gives you your presentation it gives you your little um, window of uh, or PNP picture in picture and it looks very much like loom and you guys know how much I love loom so this is definitely a really good way to use this I would use this to communicate to a client so say for example you're doing a design in Canva and you want to either explain what it is that you did in order to get that design or explain the ways that they can utilize whatever it is or in the instance that I think this is really for, if it's a PowerPoint presentation, you can actually present and do a recording of your presentation and then use this link to share it with your clients, your colleagues, your students, whomever um, they may happen to be. So I think that this is definitely a really innovative um, feature that they've added to Canva and I just wanted to share that with you. So in order to see whether or not um, you can have or what it would look like if you had multiple pages on this, I'm going to really quickly come in here and add a few additional pages just so I can see what that looks like. And so um, let's add one more. All right. So what happens, however, when you come back up here and you go to present record, in order for you to keep the first presentation that we did, you cannot make any amendments to this. So all you can do is copy the link from the previously recorded presentation or delete it. So if we don't want to delete a presentation, what we would have to do in this instance, because I've already added these, is I'm just simply going to come over here, file, and I'm going to make a copy so that I don't have to do that. So I'm going to go back over here and I'll delete all of the additional uh, pages that I created. So that's now back to normal. And so now this is a completely new presentation. So we should be good. And yes, so we can just click on the go to recording. And just as I suspected, when you have multiple pages, you can then just switch out what's here. So let's uh, do that. So we're going on to the second one, the third one, the fourth, and the fifth. So I just wanted to confirm and make sure that that's how um, this bottom row operated, was that basically however many pages you had in that um, design, then you would be able to just go from one image to the next and you can go in whatever order you see fit and it seamlessly and effortlessly um, adds your images. So then you would end this recording and again this is going to now present you with a completely new um, recording link as soon as it's finished and so we're going to copy this. We're not going to discard and then we're going to go back to here 
and this should have and you have multiple pages yeah, so you can see you can then just you can see everywhere um, it's identified here that's a new page that I went to so that's cool it actually gives you markers now the thing that I have not seen from here is you cannot from here download this you would have to go back to the app itself and then simply download the video which at this point the video is going to give you all of um, these pages what it won't give you is if you were speaking over it and if you were saying anything if you came back to a different one or, or what have you it won't give you that but you can certainly download the video as is showing showcasing all of the videos I'm uh, sorry all of the pages that are here but it won't give you what this presentation was which would have me in it so you cannot download the actual presentation because when I tried to do this it um, will only do it as a, a HTML or a web page so that's the only downside that I see so far but other than that this is pretty darn good all right take care